Hello friends, welcome to this session of learning R programming. And in this session, we are going to see how to get document output or report of our R work using R Markdown. And R Markdown is a package which uh, combine together your text, your code and code output to give various different outputs. And those outputs most popular are HTML, uh, Word document, PDF document. You can get presentations also using R Markdown and those presentations you can get in uh, HTML format or uh, PowerPoint format or uh, Beamer format that is PDF output. Getting HTML output it's a default therefore it's not difficult but getting PDF output is very difficult and Word and PowerPoint you get those because uh, most of our systems have Microsoft Word or Microsoft Office installed on those. In this session, we'll see how to troubleshoot to get the proper PDF output of the R Markdown document. Let's start. Before starting, we need to understand how an R Markdown document gets compiled into different outputs. First, that RMD file is converted to Markdown using functions from package editor. Then, Markdown file is converted using functions from Pandoc to different outputs and those can be PDF, HTML doc and many other outputs are there. The first step is to get our Markdown package and for that open RStudio, go to tools menu and click install packages. When dialog box appear, type R Markdown there and click install. R Markdown package will get installed. This package requires many other packages and when we install R Markdown, those other packages will also get installed. These packages are called as dependency. This will take some time based on your internet connectivity and based on uh, speed of your computer. And finally, our R Markdown installation is over. To get new R Markdown file, click file, then new file and then R Markdown. R Markdown dialog box will open and here it is asking still for some installations. I have clicked yes. Those installations are getting done and those dependencies will get installed. And now the dialog box has been appeared. And here in the title field, type the title of the document and then in the author field type author and date is the default. If you want the date, keep it. Otherwise you can delete that and then click OK. This is YAML header and their title is there then author, date and output. Click the need button to get the output and when you click that need button, you will get a dialog box because it asks you to save the document. And for this, uh, save the document in the directory of your choice. Then compilation will start. You can see that in console. And the HTML output is ready with its title, author, date, section, text. The clickable link is also there. Then uh, code is there, code output is there, then second section heading is there, the text is there and below that plot is also there. Now we will change the output, in output we will type word underscore output, click compile and this require MS Word install on your system. You will get the word output, a nice word output with title. Uh, author, date, section headings, code, output and format as like the HTML format. The properly formatted word output is there. Now we'll try to get PDF output. Just change in the output word to PDF and click neat. The uh, compilation will start. Compilation has started in the console and MD output is created. But error is there. This error says that LaTeX failed to compile, uh, suggesting debugging and there PDF LaTeX not found, no LaTeX installation detected, LaTeX is required to create PDF output and this is true. Uh, LaTeX is required that PDF LaTeX is the engine which convert that markdown output to PDF output and that LaTeX installation is not there on my system and therefore I am not getting the PDF output. And here it is suggesting to install TinyTech, it's a package or you can install MicTech also. We'll first install TinyTech. Go to Tools menu, Install Packages, dialog box will appear, type TinyTech there and click Install. TinyTech package installation will start. 
and then uh, you can try compilation but I will try to install MicTech on my system just go to Google type MicTech download click the link and the download page will appear and from that click that link MicTech download and you will get the installation file and when download is complete double click the installation file installation will start and give all the permissions for installation and it's a bigger package bigger software therefore it will take some time to get installed many packages are getting installed and you can see that in the progress bar and give all the permissions for installation of MicTech and MicTech will get installed will install tech studio also we require that for troubleshooting just go to google and type there tech studio and click the link click the tech studio a latex editor the installation page is open click the download now and uh, tech studio installation will start and let the installation file get download completely when download is complete double click the installation file and setup will begin and give all the permissions to install tech studio and installation will continue it will take some time but not much and when installation is complete just try the compilation in R studio using that need button again error is there I will read the error carefully and at the end it is suggesting that use system package manager and I will click need again and when I click need again I see that compilation is again started and uh, the markdown file is there and the error says here that uh, major issue is so far you have not checked for MicTech update now I will go to MicTech package manager and I will update the MicTech packages and for that in Cortana just type MicTech package manager or MicTech console and uh, MicTech console I clicked it opened and I click the check for updates and those updates shall appear in the left uh, bar there below overview that updates is there number of packages to be updated shall appear there I will click that update and update shall start many of the packages are getting updated it will take some time for those packages to get uploaded and we will wait for that It is asking us to close the MicTech. We'll close that and then we'll go to the file where our RMD file is there. Go to the folder HR works and this tech file is there, my first RMD. And this tech file is not getting compiled. We'll open that into LaTeX editor and that will open into Tech Studio. And in the Tech Studio, uh, that code will appear and just go to that build and compile button the two green double arrows are there click those and it will start you asking for installing the packages which it require and go give permission for installation of all those packages which it is asking go on just clicking the install it will again ask for new package click on install it will install the package again ask for a package and just go on click uh, clicking the install button and finally after a long time the last package I think it's there to get installed and yeah we got the error there that no file uh, that error is there that error is there in include graphics and will comment out that by putting the percent sign and build again and we'll see whether it gets built up yeah it got built up we have got the PDF output and we'll close this now we are ready for compilation of any PDF file uh, for any RMD file into any PDF file from our R studio just go to our studio and then click need button the compilation will start and the output file has been created now likewise you can uh, go for the beamer also from the beamer presentation you will get the tech file and that tech file open into tech studio go on compiling uh, allow it to install the packages and your beamer will also get installed and thank you for watching this video if you have liked this video please share with your friends please subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet 
and please click the like button. And thanks, thanks again for watching this video.